um, like technology must be like more developed yes. in a sense that we could use it more in our education. Now it has to you know accommodate such changes into its teaching curriculum. So we have PowerPoint pretty much as far as it goes. It's still a system of one to many where there's one practitioner and many students. I think there's a huge opportunity for us to engage more with technology in our um, teaching and learning. What is it? It's the the clicker system. The clicker with system. A, yeah. It has a special name, something yeah. pointer. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So I think like, if it can add something and like especially like lectures to make them a bit more interactive would probably be nice. My university at home, we don't have lecture capture, so that's seems pretty advanced that you have that. You only know what's possible in the first place if you've actually seen it and I don't really know what's what great alternatives there are. Something like virtual reality to make it more interactive. Interactive presentations. Sometimes make the uh, course more interesting. Probably they'll try and make it more interactive and like more to do to enhance learning. I expect that exams will probably take place on computers. There's, there's, there's this idea of flipping the class. I think that classes will be available online. So I imagine we can literally sit online and have a virtual classroom uh, or a virtual lecture. I do think when we are talking about a new education strategy and a new uh, experience for education that we make sure that technology is right in the heart of that. I think it's more about the way that we can embed technology in those processes. That it facilitates the learning. Technology kind of touches basically everything I do with my study. If it's going to be useful, it needs to be easy to use.